Awesome Hotel. Today is now January 18th. Another new day is upon us, guys. New day upon us. I know, just uh, took some. Oh, okay, there it is. I have a little bit of a candy sucker. I took out the stem so it's not in my mouth, and you guys can be able to hear me talking and, you know. Just a little bit of uh, like a little bit of phlegm in my throat, so I think the lemon might help out. I don't know. Daytime as uh, usual, and you know, more cars going by. Um, it's 2:52 right now in the afternoon. It's cloudy, not a uh, cold day, I guess you could say. Um, between seven and twelve today, I think. I've never really even checked the weather lately. I just don't really care. I know, I know. Like if this, if the cool breeze is in here and the coolness is here, then I know it's usually five to ten degrees uh, under the breeze I usually feel in the bedroom. So, not a brand new day, and I don't know what I'm going to be talking about right now, guys. I don't know. I've been talking about a lot of different stuff uh, these days, and when there's not really anything happening in the day that makes it interesting to actually talk about, then, you know, it's kind of getting becoming the same old, same old. Uh, I don't know. But uh, hopefully you guys have checked out my YouTube channel uh, under Las Phoenix Wolves. One word, Las Phoenix Wolves. This is the vlogging channel, Las Phoenix Wolf. Then there's also a gaming channel, Las Phoenix Wolves. It's Lost Venus Wolf's Aboriginal Gaming. And you guys can check that out. And I've been putting a bunch of games up there. Besides, you know, gaming there or gaming in the living room or, you know, different, three different consoles lately. Um, I could game, you know, like three other consoles if I want to, some old ones. But I, I don't know, I'm not really worried about that. Um, let's see now. So not really, like I said, not really much is going on now from yesterday. I hope you guys have seen those videos yesterday, day before that, in the past, you know, since January 3rd, I think, I was back home. I don't know, it's pretty well going on, uh, well, today, uh, been, oh yeah, it's been two weeks. It's been a little over two weeks. So, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be talking about today. I just ran out of things to really talk about these days. And you guys can tell by my videos, it's not really anything, anything important at all. Not important, but uh, not really much going on. It's really below average you now. Because I'm not on a bike, or not on my dad's. And... I don't know. I don't know. So, um, I think I was thinking about talking about something here. Something about my younger days, childhood days. Oh, let's see. I think I already talked about camping one time. Must have been in that camp, campgrounds about a good nine times in my life. I don't know, this, that's something, a uh, topic to do about uh, camping. Uh, the very first time I went to, went camping there, I believe it was seven. I was seven years old. And I know that uh, I, right around that time was my first bully, and, you know, first bully in camping, and first bully at uh, uh, the scouts thing. I'm not going to tell you which scouts it is. I got kicked out of it because one uh, bully was uh, bullying me and he ended up pushing me almost into the water and then when we came back to walk around I ended up pushing him in the water and one of the counselors seen me at the, the scouts got kicked out of scouts. I mean that kid is the one that started it. So that was roughly around the time that I was you know just getting my first bullies. So very first time there and I think the, the old days passed on now. I mean, that's, that was such a long time ago. 
the old days uh, was talking about how this big boulder used to uh, come uh, down the hill. Like it was on top of the hill and a uh, bunch of other you know, rocks and pebbles and stuff end up, you know, uh, washing away from all the rain and stuff. And the boulder ended up, you know, breaking apart. It wasn't completely round, you know, it was breaking apart. And it rolled down this hill going towards the house or cabin or house to house rolling towards the house and the boulder stopped like a half a foot to a foot away from the house so now it's like a historical thing for that camp it uh... I can't even say you know the, the name of it just in case they got a little copyright issue on that but uh... This place had a good wooded area and you got marks on the trees so in case you get lost you follow this marks and stuff and get out there. If you know your bearings and you're stuck with it, I mean if you stick with an adult. And there is some some odd caves in there. This type of cave, like the time that I was going there was summertime there. Another time I went there was like uh, closer to winter. And the cave itself on the when it's hot outside, it's nice and cool on the inside and then another time I went when it was, it was colder outside and it was really warm on the inside we didn't go all the way in we only went so far in as the, towards the entrance just in case there might have been a bear or skunks or raccoons or whatever's in that cave so the lady that lived in the area wouldn't advise anybody to go in there unless they know what they're what they can you know what if they know what they're doing going in the cave if they come up across any kind of wild animal. So that time it was uh, like a school outing and uh, I think we were gone for like two three days. Um, met my first bully and up you know fighting here and there and the camp counselor was mad at me for doing this and that and then he ended up you know throwing me in the water and realizing that I couldn't swim and go in the water and pull me back out and I had to uh, dry off and sit aside while everybody else do their thing and um, I guess I was considered, you know, I guess it was this bad. I mean, it was normal things, like just, I didn't like to be uh, bullied and, you know, end up, you know, kind of you know, rebelling a little bit, but then, you know, the, they're looking at me like, I'm the one that started, I'm the one that, you know, that, this, that. So, <clears throat> that was that time. And then different school, around nine years old, we went to the same campgrounds. And there's a there's a window that's way up, and you would have to go on the bunk beds to this, this ledge. And it stays the years that I've been there. I think I've got maybe three or five different years there. Maybe I should go there again one day and check it all out. It's been a long time that I've been there. Now I'm a, now I'm, a, I'm an old adult and I should go check it out. But I don't know. I even have cost money and I guess this was school thing. But anyway, nine years old. Um, we had like a, um, like a scavenger hunt. Um, we did a, you know a search and find different things. Kind of yeah, like, like a really scavenger hunt. That's what that is. Yes. Uh, search and find certain things and break down numbers that we see and lead us to someplace else, break down numbers and then people will get the uh, the numbers in order and some kind of thing that they see there. But they get all done and then they get you know some kind of big prize and I think it came in like third place or something like that. Because I really like the woods and the wilderness and stuff like that. But I, at that time too I always had problems with certain kids and stuff like that and some kid you know he's acting like he's you know, he's a leader, he's in charge, you know, and, you know, not listening to his crap, and then not really paying attention. I'm trying to be be a good kid, but, you know, I was a bad kid. I was really a bad kid. So, besides them putting snakes in the girl's cabin, or um, scaring the girls, or whatever, what they're doing, you know, they, sometimes the girls are split off, you know, they're doing the, the baking, and the cooking, and uh, the breakfast stuff, and uh, the cleaning, whatever, you know, that us boys, you know, are cleaning, gathering the twigs for the fire and um, getting rid of snakes, I guess. You know, we had to go and hunt snakes and get rid of them, kill them, and, or 
put them off the property and stuff, or you know, someplace far away from uh, the girls' cabins. And even us, we had to you know clean cabins and stuff like that, and the washrooms. And we had a certain uh, time spans, like um, the girls are in the day and the boys are at night or afternoon or whatever. And then you know, we had to let a counselor know that you know boys are going to be in the shower because it, it was only one shower place for boys or girls and all those stupid sing-alongs um, craft stuff uh, like scavenger hunt uh, bonfires little daily events and stuff that you know go for about two or three days and let's see Next time I went, I think it was about 11 or 12. Different school again. Yes, I was a bad kid. I got kicked out of different schools. I got kicked out of more schools than I've ever been in. Different school. There's a few days. You know, I already know what's going on. I've been here before. I'm having fun. You know, I like the dwellers. You know, talk to the old lady. Um, going into the, um, the woods area and stuff like that. Taking care of the bonfire. I mean, I knew exactly what they're doing. I was kind of young, but counselor saying, you know, give me a bucket of water or something, stuff like that. And, you know, I was hanging out with uh, friends from school, you know, doing our own thing, listening to music. We were not doing no stupid sing alongs, um, uh, any kind of girly stuff. I didn't really care about it, you know. Kind of like, I kind of had like a crush on a girl, you know, from that, from that school, you know, went to the camp thing, you know. Talk to her and stuff like that, and you know, just just talking. But there's one individual kid that would uh, he wouldn't he wouldn't put out the fire, and he had to put out the fire to come to have uh, supper. And I said, "Come on, let's go. We gotta we gotta have supper and stuff." And I gotta, I gotta I'm in charge of the fire, and I gotta put it out. And he goes, "Okay, I'll give me about that uh, uh, five minutes, five ten minutes." So I gave him five, two minutes, he came back, and the fire's not out, still sitting there. And he's kind of like a loner, he keeps himself, and he's like, okay, I gotta really put this fire out because I don't want to get in trouble, and I don't know if I have some marks or something like that. And, and then he started wanting to shove me around, and he like, why do you do that? We gotta put this fire out, you gotta come for supper. He goes, I don't want to put it out, I want to just sit here. I said, well, I'm in charge of fire, I gotta put it out. So... I just splashed it in the fire, the fire's just about out. He's trying to shove me again, I just take the bucket and I throw it on him. So then I got in a little bit of trouble because of that, but it's like he's when I started it, you know. But I didn't really, that was at a time, you know, didn't really talk about, you know, the certain things that's going on in the camp because I don't be considered a rat and... I just said something about, oh, I was trying to put on the fire, and he didn't want me to put it out, but I already threw the bucket of water, and he got he got wet because he came to, to dinner in wet clothes. So I apologized to him. I said, I said, oh, next time I'm going to give you a little bit more time in the fire, and, you know, I do have to put it out because I'm in charge of the fire. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up right now. So if you guys like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. I'm sure it's been on channel, my friend for you, my friend for me. Please do tell your friend and family about me. Thank you for your video time, you guys. Watch it. Hope you all have a nice day, a nice night. And remember, it's better to be aboriginal than original.